Oh. Hey, howdy, hey. This past weekend, I was wrestling at Anime Detour in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And Fucking we sand. And while I was there, I made sure to make a pit stop over at the Mall of America because they've got Nickelodeon Universe, the cutest little mall theme park, period. Is it the only mall theme park? I don't know. I've only been there once before, but I had to make sure that I went and checked out the new Fly With Oppa ride because it's literally just Dumbo meets Oppa in the most epic crossover of all time. <laughs> I used to actually work Dumbo the Flying Elephant when I worked as an intern at Disney. And I'm just obsessed with Avatar The Last Airbender. So this was the perfect crossover for me. Literally hours before I was slated to wrestle as Dale Gribble in the most epic cosplay wrestling show ever at Anime Detour, I went over to Nickelodeon Universe and I wanted to ride some rides. So um, let's check it out. Welcome to the Mall of America. <laughs> I got my wristband. I am ready to ride all the rides that I can possibly ride in two hours. I'm gonna ride that puppy. I'm gonna ride this Air Bison. I always say I'm gonna ride that puppy and it's like a reference to the old like Disney World like in hotel resort video. Welcome to Must Do Disney. I can't remember that girl's name, but she was literally like, I'm gonna ride that puppy. <laughs> so I'm gonna ride that puppy. Mall of America is huge and I only had about two hours before I had to get back over to the hotel to make sure that I was ready for the wrestling show. So I was gonna see how much of not only Nickelodeon Universe but the Mall of America I could squeeze into two hours. Uh, little rep tires. So the first ride I had to go to was SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge. It's one of my favorite little coasters period. And I say little coasters because it's very tiny in like the scope of like a long roller coaster but it's pretty much the equivalent to a very big giga coaster meets a wild mouse coaster. 90 degrees straight up and then not quite 90 degrees but kind of pretty close to it straight down. The overall ride for this is just so smooth, it's so great, it just takes your breath completely away. But also it's a little Spongebob coaster and anyone who knows me, I speak pretty much in Spongebob quotes. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. <laughs> and the Spongebob ride gave me a new hairstyle. A new hairstyle. That's like one, <laughs> that's like one of the most fun little rides. Oh, the brakes is loud. I love that, but it's time to go find me an air bison. I'm ready to ride an air bison. Took a little walk around just to see what was going on. And there was a few coasters that I've rode before when I went back in 2017. There's the Pepsi Plunge, I believe it's called. It's basically just a classic orange roller coaster. I think the first roller coaster that ever opened up in the Mall of America. It's not overall my favorite, but it is a classic. I didn't happen to get on that one because it was only running one train and I'm not sure if they ever do run two, but the wait time was pretty much quite a wait by the time I got there. The rides are great, but all the lines, lines, lines. And then the Fairly Odd Coaster, which is a spinning wild mouse type coaster, and it has such a low capacity. Once that line built up, it was absolutely nuts. All the lines, 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 lines. I didn't hop on the Fairly Odd Coaster, but I have rolled it before, and um, I dig it. I like it a lot. Even though, girl, that spinning makes me sick makes me real sick. I'm not a spinny gal. I'm just not. <coughs> but the ride that did spin a little bit, but I actually did love it, was Avatar The Last Airbender. It's basically one of those like skateboard type coasters that launch you up in the big U, goes back and forth, but there is some spinning to it. Um, where you're sitting, you're in your harness, and they actually will rotate the seats and it spins with the ride, but it's not too much like a teacup type spin. It's more like the weights kind of shifting, so you kind of just spin around with it. You get this feeling of like overall weightlessness and flight. Loved that. This is the coolest thing, I love that. Okay, what I did while I was on it, spot some air bison, and I'm on my air bison hunt, yo. Hey, come on, like I gotta go find, I gotta get my yippee up on. This, this is kind of creepy. I see you, Swiper. Don't try to swipe my stuff. It is time to fly with Appa. I'm so excited. Once I finally snaked around and found Appa, I was so excited because there was absolutely no line for Appa, which I thought was wild because everything had a line. <laughs> this is like little, little, like my knees are like pressed against those spices. <laughs> It was very different than the standard like Dumbo that I'm used to because they have like the lever that you hold up and down. 
This one was different because you would just push the button, and when you hold the button in, Appa goes up. When you let go of the button, he thinks for a second, and then he goes down. Woo! Classy Appa. <laughs> loved 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 Ava. like that was literally that was a milestone of a ride for me i've always wanted something like that when it comes to Appa and avatar i'm so glad that someone decided to do this nickelodeon universe is the perfect place for it this is something that you need to check out 100 percent recommend this especially if you're a fan of the classic spinners which they're near and dear to my heart okay now let's go check out the nickelodeon shop i'm very excited Okay, hold on. There's some random stampedes. Is this like vintage Nickelodeon stuff? Yo, distraction. Look at these jackets. Okay, these are pretty tight. Okay, back to vintage plushies, which is like who I'm about. What is... What are you? Right, yo, Ren. You're freaking terrifying, but... Okay, Cynthia's kind of iconic. $16.99, that's not bad. Okay, you're a maybe. You might be coming with me. I'm not kind of iconic though, like legit iconic. We've got an Arnold up here. It's pretty tight. Let's see who else we got around here. Got a Rugrats blanket. Oh, I need a blanket at the hotel because we're sharing a hotel like as wrestlers and I don't have a blanket. That's cute. It's not very cozy though. It's completely fleece and like, give me a microfiber blanket, yo. Like, that's what I want. That's what I need. You <laughs> raptor! This, your mouth is so open. <laughs> this is this is a bit much. I'm not a fan. Got a wren here. You're not as terrifying as the other wren. Love that. Stampy. Love this. Okay, some Halloween. SpongeBob stuff. Um, my bad. I threw my back out. I'm an old man. Okay. But... <laughs> Mr. Krabs is a spider. Oh. Keep your eyeballs up, buddy. Got a, let's go, Frankenstein SpongeBob. Love that. Let's see. And so that's all a pat. Yep. Yeah. We got a Patrick Mummy. <laughs> He's cute. I like him. Then, oh, is this? Yo, this is Squidward as the Flying Dutchman. This is like this is kind of iconic. I love this. Eighteen ninety nine. That's not bad. It's not great. This is kind of iconic. I'm. I really want to get a souvenir today, and I'm kind of. Sandy's kind of derpy, um, but I'm not sure. I, Squidward as the Flying Dutchman, and that Cynthia. Those are. Literally ties for everything. I also love this jumpsuit over here. It's probably never gonna be in my size, but I would rock that puppy. So over here, we got the Garfield section. Ooh, this is pretty cool. All right. Got a normal down there, it looks like. Fat Garfield, we got some, oh, there's an OD like this. This is also really cute. I only look at prices at stuff that I'm kind of interested in, so I'm sorry. I'll... $18.99 is not bad. This is really cute. I like this a lot. I'm not a big Garfield person, but I'm a sucker for Odie. Some little Lego things over here. I don't know what the playground is. Um, let's see. Some shirts, some basic stuff, but I'm here for the plushies. Oh, this is the clearance section. It reads. That checks out. Okay. Some more SpongeBob stuff. Burping Patrick's kind of cute. All right, we got more SpongeBob plushies. This looks like camp SpongeBob stuff. So like, oh snap! What are you doing here? And what are this is an Avatar wallet? Oh, cute! It's an Avatar wallet. And the Avatar state. Oh, I love this. I don't know how much this is. I have to check this out. Like, yeah, this is definitely camp coral stuff. You got Baby Gary, Baby Squidward. 
Baby Sandy's quite cute. That's kind of adorable. I like Baby Sandy. Over here, cute little SpongeBob backpacks. I like my Invader Zim backpack. The yeah, Invader Zim stuff here, I love it. I'm still trying to get rid of that Christmas merch, it seems. But SpongeBob in his Christmas outfit, very cute. It's not even on clearance, that's weird. Looks like we got Blue's Clues. And then that robot guy, I forget what he's from, is like um, the little kids with the helmets. I'm not too versed on my Nick Jr., to be honest. Patrick is a snowman's over here. Oh my goodness. This is cute. I like this. They've actually got really good merch here, to be honest. This is really good. Got Paw Patrol. It's all right. I'm cool. These cups. Okay. <laughs> Jumping jellyfish. We're more in the Nick Jr. area here. The Baby Shark Show. No, thank you. Oh, uh, we're going to exit this little Nick Jr. store side because, oh, it's a Baby Jaguar plush. But let's go to the real thing because there's all this Avatar stuff, yo. Avatar State Aang. Oh, I wish I could see what he looks like, though. So, Pabu. Azula's pretty tight. Oh, they have a Naga. Some Legend of Korra stuff, which is always really cool. All of these pens. Oh, I can see the Naga. So open. Look at the Naga. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Not for $30. I don't love it that much anymore. It's not my fave. These cute little keychain backpacks. Love this. Suko. Love that. These are cute. Of course, little Momo. We love. We love, we love. Then, of course, we have this giant Appa plush. This I love. How much are you, young? 50 bucks. You're very cute, but 50's a bit. There's a Naga. Oh, there's a Naga. Naga is only 24. Very tempting with Naga. I, uh, we got all the people up here. It looks like a lot of you know, Kunsuko. Seen better days. This is a mood. It's a total mood. I mean, the most adorable Ninja Turtles is around this corner. Look at these little guys. This is adorbs. I love them. Okay, I walked right past this. This is cute. I kind of don't like this material on the front, but I love the leather, the backpack. It says Avatar. Then we have a bit more of a little legit one. This I like a lot. A little leather Appa. Love that. Oh, look at this. This is cute. Love that a lot. Some cookware over here. This entire, like, coffee mug set, which I love. That's cute. How much? I love some coffee mugs. There's no price on it. I find that sketch. That's sketch to me. Ooh, a fleece throw. Again, why is it not why is it not microfiber? Fleece is not my bag, sis. Not the tea. We don't love. We don't stand. Oh yep, yep, mug. That's cute. Love that. Ramen bowl. My cabbage. <laughs> After all was said and done, I wound up leaving with the Cabbage's Ramen Bowl, which I got for my boyfriend for his birthday. Oh, my cabbages.
got myself a little Appa coin purse, which I wound up putting my stones in, and now I have a little Appa that carries my stones around everywhere. That place was starting to fill up. There was like school groups, everything. Like Nickelodeon Universe was slammed. And the next thing that I really wanted to do was the log flume. So I decided to do a little bit of shopping, explore the mall a little bit. Doing some other shopping around, I like looked at some of the stores, kind of was like doing a little bit of clothes shopping. But when it comes to me, you know I'm looking for toys. That's, that's my bread and butter, girl. <laughs> Whoa, no way. Okay, let's go check it out. This wasn't necessarily a Toys R Us but it seemed more like it was just a store that got the rights to use the Toys R Us name. Okay, so far nothing's really like calling out to me in the flush thing. It's more like what they would have in a gas station to be honest. Here we go, wall of Funko Pops. Let's see what we got. Oh, I love this cute little Merida. She's adorned. It's neat. Ed Sheeran down here. Okay. Oh, there he is up close, so I don't gotta like lean over. I told you my back hurts today. I feel bad. He's interesting looking. Mainly looking for any sort of like WWE women, but I don't see anything. Ooh, we got a whole wall over here. Got a really cute Winterford Sanderson. I love this. That's hot. There's a lot of these weird Ed Sheeran boxes. <laughs> I'm not gonna dig too, too much because I spent way too much money in the Nickelodeon store. But, oh, I see some wrestling over here. It doesn't look like much, but. Whoa, these are dated figures. Some Mandy Roses. In, no, only one of these women in this row is with the company anymore. Um, got an Anna J down here. There's some AEWs up here. The Darby Allen. Anna J's back there. The Chris Statlander is pretty cool. Um, we got a Scarlet down here. Whoa, this is old and vintage. This Power Rangers and Space figure is pretty cool. Okay, but I'm not gonna lie, like. All of this seems like dated figures that have kind of been left over. They love the hang. Okay, hold on, what are you? $35, Lord. Okay, everything's overpriced, but it's also dated. So I'm just kind of confused. Cause like literally those women's wrestling figures were still $15. And I'm like, those didn't even sell when they were nine. So what's going on? We got our Disney section, a little playhouse. Wish, the movie that I wish never happened. I wish that, I should wish I liked that movie. I really do. Um, some more stuff, a bunch of trolls over here. This is cute. This is, it's kind of dull though. I don't think I'm gonna hang out in the Toys R Us in the Mall of America very long. Expensive plushies that are also sold in gas stations? Wild. But then I also found like the other toy store that was in Nickelodeon Universe. Okay, I just see Pokemon, so I'm already excited. I found a Squirtle. Shoot, Squirtle's has a giant head. I see a lot of Darumaka plushes lately, a lot. Little Igglybuffs down there, which are cool. Little sleeping Pokemon. me once I finally decide to eat today. This looks to be like more like general merch, more like Japanese style plushies, which I love. Oh, well, he's dressed as a little pushy mouse. We have some littler oppas here, which is tiny oppa. It's still 30 bucks. It's wild for tiny oppa. All the Pusheens in the world. Seven and roll Pusheen. You're adorbs. Love you. Well, mocha Pusheens. Love it. Really? Are those WWE figures? What? Ooh. 
Okay, so with these WWE figures, this set right here, this is $36. Priced at $36. This is wild. How much is a regular figure? Let's see. $18.99 for Nikki Ash. Okay, you can stay back on the shelf. I already got you, but like, so I've already got all the women here. But $18.99 for a wrestling figure. Well. There's a Reggie down here. He's probably also $18.99. Shook it. I was <laughs> literally, those figures were $18.99 for basic wrestling figures. $18.99. What? Guacamole is expensive. Inflation, my ass. Doris here. But after I left there, the line was starting to build up for the log flume ride. And I had to ride this because I watched this YouTube video a few months ago and it was basically comparing like all the log flumes in America and seeing which one was basically the next Splash Mountain. And this one won, which I was very surprised at. So I had to go test it. Okay, I'm a little wet. Did I think it was like the best vlog ride? It was cute. That was good, honestly. That was a great way to end my day here. That was a great one. So I snapped what I could, because also it was a very rough ride, to be honest. It was really cute. I couldn't quite figure out what the theming of this ride was. Kind of like lumberjack. And then there was this really cool giant, like Babe, uh, what's his name? Um, I want to say Babe Ruth, and that's not it. Paul Bunyan, that's it, and his his ox is named Babe. Babe the Blue Ox and Paul Bunyan. The actual ride itself, it had two drops, which were both really good. The first one, pretty great. I love the little drop, typically more than I like the big drop on actual water flume rides. Big drop, really fun. Honestly, did not get too wet, which is great because I was inside of a mall and it's winter in the Midwest. It was a really fun ride, but would I call it the next Splash Mountain? Probably not. Um, to be honest, if I had to give that moniker to something, it would go to the Jurassic World water ride at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Overall, how would I rate everything that I rode? Favorite ride by far, Avatar The Last Airbender. That was just so good. The airtime was perfect. I just loved that ride. Second, it's a classic. It's SpongeBob's Rock Bottom Plunge. Such a good little coaster. I love it. Probably one of my favorite indoor coasters that I've ever ridden. Third, I'm gonna give it to Fly with Appa just because that's what I went for. I was very excited. It was a lot of fun. And then fourth is definitely gonna be the log flume. Overall, it didn't like meet the expectations that I was holding it to when I walked in there, but it was very fun for an indoor log flume ride, which is very few and far between, if not maybe the only one I've ever seen. That was fun. Overall, I love Nickelodeon Universe. I wish I would have had more time to spend in the Mall of America that day so I could do more of an in-depth thing with like every ride, maybe try some of the food. But that was my day in the Mall of America. Thanks for checking me out. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button, hit the subscribe, and stick around because I'm gonna be going to more theme parks, more attractions, more travel, more things are coming your way. I'm back on this full time after my little hiatus of craziness. If you saw me on Twitter, you know exactly what happened. Feel free to go check it out. But I hope to see you on my next adventure and I will see you very, very soon. Later, everyone. A new hairstyle.